Hi, I'm Kimberly Desiree, and welcome to my intuitive Q&A segment. Today's question came in from Marianne. She asks, Dear Desiree, trying so hard to change certain things in my life, working so hard that I have no time for myself and money doesn't seem to be coming in easily either. What road do I need to take to attract more abundance into my life? Maybe you could give me some insight as to what I'm doing wrong. Thank you. Thank you, Marianne, for sending in your question, and I applaud you for deciding to make the necessary changes in your life to have a happy and abundant life. The first thing that comes to mind, though, is that you talk about you're so busy you don't have any time for yourself, um, and that you're working really hard and don't seem to be getting an outcome. So right there, I feel that you have an issue with time management, first of all, and secondly, you don't have a clear vision of what you'd like for your life. So what I would recommend is to find a quiet space where you can sit uninterrupted and figure out what the end result of your life looks like. What is it that's truly going to bring you happiness? Could it be the perfect job, the perfect relationship, a home that's peaceful and quiet? Whatever that looks like to you is what you need to figure out. So I would recommend sitting quietly and start writing out a list of what that looks like. And then once you have a clear vision of what it is you want for your life, then I would put a plan together. You decide you want to get a new job and you have an idea that you'd like to be in service to people. Well, what does that look like? Write out the things that make you happy, that would bring joy to your life and they would make a difference in other people's lives. And start taking action in those directions. The other thing that I see is that you're wondering about abundance. Well, with frantic energy and running around doing a lot of working without um, a desired outcome is not going to bring abundance. You need to have a clear goal in mind of what you're going to do. You need to have an action plan of steps of how to get there. And every day you need to take steps, no matter how big, how small, you keep working in that desired outcome. And there'll be times when you'll fail. And that's part of learning. That's part of growing. So if something doesn't go out the first time the way you want it, don't give up. Learn what you can from that experience and try again. And if you fail, look at that experience and see what you can learn. And take that knowledge and keep trying. But you always have to move forward. Sitting still doesn't get results. Talking about making changes doesn't get results. Action gets results. So I hope that that helps you with your question. Um, but I do feel also um, that your time management skills need to be worked on a little bit. I feel like you expend a lot of energy and you don't really have a direction with it. So slow down a little bit, take a breather, and just put a plan into place and really go deep and um, ask spirit to help you figure out what it is you want to do with your life because the answers will come. And usually when we pray, we get the answers um, through thought, through other people. Um, we might hear something, something might jump out to us. So pay attention to the world around you because spirit's always trying to communicate with you and give you the answers that you seek. So I hope this helps you gain some clarity as to what's going on in your life and gives you some direction. And if you need any further assistance, you can reach out to me at the email address above, uh, below on the screen. So thanks for writing in. And for any of you that would like me to answer a question for you intuitively to give you some guidance and direction, please send your questions to me at the email address provided on the screen. And thanks and God bless.